is Sasha Tuckman, and uh, I'm part of the multiple myeloma and amyloidosis program here at UNC. And uh, I've been doing this for about 10 years and chose um, these specific types of disorders uh, largely, I mean, for a number of different reasons, largely because they involve all systems of the body, so you really have to be a good general internist, and it's not just focused on one organ necessarily. Um, and then also because there's a lot of drug development and new things coming out, so it's a very exciting field to be in in terms of research. Caring for patients, I think it's, it really needs to be individualized and reflect uh, the latest and greatest and all the new developments that are out there. And I think that that's one real benefit of getting, getting care at a place like UNC Lineberger um, in the sense that we all really specialize in the diseases that we do. I only do multiple myeloma and amyloidosis and diseases that are related to that, which means that 24-7, that's what I think about. I don't do lung cancer. I don't do colon cancer. I only do that. Um, and what that means is that I and other members of my team really know the disorders, how they affect patients, what the therapies are that are available, um, and the different issues that, that all circle around that. And so I think we do a really great job of um, you know, diagnosis and then also picking treatment regimens for these disorders that maximize the likelihood of really controlling the disorder and um, therefore improving outcomes and also minimizing side effects and that these therapies can also be quite toxic when used. Um, even correctly, but especially inappropriately. Um, so it's really a matter of choosing the right therapies and then optimizing things like doses and uh, other elements like that to really, again, um, improve outcomes. I and the team that I run, so again, the multiple myeloma and amyloidosis team here at UNC, um, I think we collectively really try to, you know, do the personal elements of taking care of these disorders and the best of science. You know, it really is the, it's, it's almost cliche, but the art and science of medicine. Part of it is that you have to know the textbook, you have to know the latest publications, you have to know the medications, you have to know all these different things that are in the scientific literature, you have to understand the medicine itself. But then applying that to actual people isn't just science, it's also, you know, the art of individualizing therapies and approaches for um, specific patients and that one can imagine that if we take, for example, multiple myeloma, which is the most common form of cancer that we treat, treating somebody who's 40 years old and completely healthy with multiple myeloma is a completely different experience from treating somebody who's 85 and maybe has heart disease and kidney disease. Um, and so knowing not only the textbook and the literature, um, uh, publications that are available for these disorders, but also understanding how to optimize the therapy for an individual is incredibly important. And here at UNC, I think our team does a great job of that.